हेलो स्टूडेंट्स जय स्वामीनारायण आई एम प्रोफेसर उर्वीश मेवाड़ा एच ओ डी इलेक्ट्रिकल डिपार्टमेंट श्री स्वामीनारायण इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी भारत गांधीनगर आई एम द सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन सब्जेक्ट विच इज इन द सेवेंथ सेमेस्टर इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड जी डी यू सब्जेक्ट कोड ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट इज टू वन सेवन जीरो नाइन वन थ्री स्टूडेंट्स करेंटली वी आर डिस्कसिंग द चैप्टर नंबर फाइव दैट इज प्रेशर मेजरमेंट एंड दिस इज आवर लेक्चर नंबर थ्री students in lecture number 2 we have discussed the methods of pressure measurement in which we have discussed the diaphragm pressure gauge and in which we discussed the different uh, shapes of the diaphragm and uh, the application of the uh, diaphragm pressure gauge and its working and also we have discussed the third method that is bellow pressure gauge and in which we have studied about the different materials we used to manufacture the bellow and the level of different pressures which can be measured with the help of bellow pressure gauge also in uh, lecture number 2 we have discussed the methods of pressure measurement in which we have discussed the fourth method that is strain gauge pressure measurement or strain gauge pressure transducer so in which uh, we have discussed the uh, uh, the different uh, means uh, uh, gauges which used to measure the pressure and uh, uh, as uh, it it can be used for the uh, means large application uh, for the industry now this is the topic number 7 in which we are going to discuss the methods of uh, pressure measurement and this is the fifth method that is piezoelectric pressure transducer so let us discuss how piezoelectric pressure transducer works so uh, piezoelectric pressure transducer basically we all aware with the name of piezoelectric so what do i mean by piezoelectric piezoelectric or piezo uh, uh, electric or quartz material is a material having property whenever we give a mechanical pressure to the um, uh, that crystal piezoelectric crystal it will produce an electrical output and whenever we give an electrical input to the uh, to the uh, piezoelectric crystal it will get vibrated so it is uh, say vice versa transducer so here we are going to use piezoelectric crystal or piezoelectric transducer for the pressure measurement so this is the setup which can be used to measure a pressure uh, so uh, from uh, let us discuss start st uh, let us uh, start this theory with the principle of this piezoelectric transducer so uh, uh, the principle of this piezoelectric transducer uh, is when the pressure is applied on the piezoelectric crystal the electrical uh, change is generated so therefore uh, there are different piezoelectric material we use to uh, to produce the mechanical force uh, to the electrical output so to generate the electrical change when the subjected to the pressure some of the materials we use for the uh, uh, piezoelectric material uh, piezoelectric uh, as a piezoelectric device is uh, say uh, quartz uh, crystal material and then uh, the tourmaline and the uh, rossel salt and the uh, uh, barium titanate uh, uh, sintered power etc so such materials are uh, means uh, uh act as a piezoelectric uh, uh, means uh, device so this are the material uh, having uh, means same property but uh, as per our requirement we can use uh, different materials for the piezoelectric transducer so let us discuss the first of all construction of the um, this uh, setup piezoelectric pressure transducer so in which we have this this cylindrical uh, shape you can see that in this we have all the setup so this is the diaphragm we are starting with the diaphragm and this is the say pressure sensing crystal uh, and the name of this uh, crystal is x1 and uh, after that we have a uh, means uh, um, a, a vacuum or vacuum space and then we have the say compensation uh, portion which provides the compensation of inlet of the pressure so that we can measure an accurate pressure through this gauge so uh, this is a uh, say compensation crystal x2 and of what, uh, whatever the output means uh, 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 
offer by the this uh, uh, piezoelectric uh, crystal uh, will get to the will get uh, in the into the input of the charge amplifier because uh, uh, whatever the uh, output generated by the crystal is not capable to uh, uh, to uh, show the uh, means uh, it is very small so if we need to uh, project that output on the uh, say display we need to amplify it and uh, this amplifier will amplifies the 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 generated output from the crystal and uh, then uh, after it will go into the differential amplifier and differential amplifier to it will produce the uh, uh, means it will show the output on the uh, means display screen so here this is the uh, setup which works as a piezoelectric uh, pressure transducer so uh, the piezoelectric pressure transducer say consists of uh, here a diaphragm so diaphragm is a uh, is having a property whenever give whenever we give an uh, give a, give the pressure as a as an inlet so according to the pressure uh, applied and the diaphragm will get compressed means uh, from the top side uh, the pressure acts on the diaphragm so the shape of the diaphragm changes like this and the the pressure the transmitter pressure uh, to the say piezoelectric transducer uh, uh, through the uh, means to the crystal x1 which helps uh, which uh, with, uh, with the help of the say diaphragm so the pressure is created uh, means uh, as we give uh, the pressure into the input of this uh, point where we are inserting the um, unknown pressure so this diaphragm will get uh, will change change the shape like this and uh, that this will produce the uh, the pressure on the uh, piezoelectric crystal so uh, therefore the piezoelectric crystal generates an electrical signal and the signal uh, is uh, say very small and it is not capable to drive the circuit so it is amplified by the charge amplifier and the piezoelectric x2 crystal x2 is a second crystal uh, uh, that is used to compensate the acceleration so if uh, a sudden pressure inserted uh, that can damage permanently damage this gauge so uh, gradually this pressure means uh, this crystal allows uh, to insert the pressure inside the the tube so that uh, this uh, crystal is acts as a acts as an uh, say uh, compensation uh, means compensating uh, compensating gauge or compensated for say acceleration if any uh, uh, in the transducer during uh, during the use and also the piezoelectric uh, transducer produces an electrical uh, voltage when they are uh, say pressurized so pressure uh, means the pressure where that we are measuring will uh, pressurize the diaphragm and diaphragm will pressurize the uh, crystal x1 and this is the compensating crystal so that will uh, protect the gauge from the uh, unwanted uh, means uh, st uh, means stresses inside the gauge and uh, according to the compression of the gauge that will uh, the crystal will produce the electrical output and this electrical output is not capable to drive the circuit that's why it will get amplified and then after differential amplifier uh, will uh, uh, differentiate the output of the uh, means uh, uh, from the piezoelectric transducer and it will go into the display then let us uh, um, uh, discuss continue the on the ranges and the uh, advantages disadvantages and the application so when the pressure uh, say stop changing the voltage disappear because uh, as the pressure removed or there is no pressure inserted inside the gauge then diaphragm will regain its original position and the pressure from the crystal will get removed and uh, as that uh, means uh, device acts uh, on the mechanical pressure so there is no mechanical pressure if there is no mechanical pressure then gauge will not generate any electrical output so uh, so we need to apply pressure to uh, to, uh, to get uh, to to make it uh, means uh, uh, to activate the piezoelectric transducer so according to the pressure applied uh, the piezoelectric transducer will uh, give to give the electrical output and the range of this uh, uh, type of gauges is say 0 to 50 kilo um, psi so however this uh, transducer cannot uh, say measure steady pressure so uh, because uh, whenever pressure is steady then uh, the 
the crystal uh, will uh, means the crystal uh, cannot uh, generate the electrical output uh, so if the pressure varies or um, uh, if there is a dynamic pressure that we need to measure then we can use this gauge for the pressure measurement and they can uh, uh, measure uh, the varying pressure that's why uh, this gauge is very useful to measure uh, a dynamic pressure with the help of this uh, uh, this uh, piezoelectric transducer uh, uh, pressure measurement gauge so it is uh, very necessary uh, to have the dynamic pressure measurement for such type of uh, 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 crystal uh, or piezoelectric transducer so let us take uh, let us uh, discuss the advantages and limitation of the piezoelectric transducer or pressure transducer so the first advantage uh, is the rugged in construction and small size so this is the main uh, or we can say important advantage of this gauge because whenever the device is rugged it can be used for the industrial purpose so uh, so this is the one of the major advantage of this uh, uh, piezoelectric transducer for the pressure measurement and high output with negligible phase shift so uh, according to the applied pressure the crystal will produce an electrical output so we need to just uh, change the uh, the piezoelectric material according our require according to the requirement so we, uh, we can uh, we can use this uh, piezoelectric transducer for our desired application for the pressure measurement and uh, also have the excellent frequency response so uh, as uh, as we already discussed the that this uh, piezoelectric transducer can be used for the dynamic pressure measurement so that's why it has a good uh, excellent frequency response so uh, in this advantage is uh, make it very uh, say uh, useful or uh, uh, then uh, means uh, user friendly for the for the industrial purpose for the pressure measurement now let us discuss the limitation of this gauge so they are say water soluble and uh, however in a uh, high humidity environment it get dissolved so um, uh, whenever the um, say, say uh, the such kind of crystals uh, means co comes uh, in contact of the water then the property of this uh, such kind of crystal will get deteriorated. so we need to protect this uh, uh, this um, crystal from the from the water and moisture to get an adequate output from the from the device and uh, temperature uh, sensitive uh, it is uh, then it uh, also it can use for the dynamic measurement only so uh, uh, yes uh, it is only used for the dynamic measurement so whenever the wherever the pressure is say varying or uh, uh, means uh, continuously varying and we, uh, if we need to measure that pressure then and then we can use this crystal and if uh, we want to measure a static pressure then this gauge is not useful for the static pressure measurement so uh, this is uh, one of the limitation of this gauge now uh, the application of the piezoelectric transducer so let us discuss the application so uh, used to measure uh, say non electrical quantities like acceleration vibration sound intensity and dynamic pressure so that we already discussed uh, that uh, so, um, means it is uh, say user friendly or we can say versatile to measure the acceleration vibration and the intensity of the dynamic pressure also it is it can be widely used in say aerodynamics uh, means technology and supersonic technology uh, wind tunnels also used in uh, say study of the high speed phenomena such as uh, explosion and bomb blast so it is very useful for the uh, say military purpose or uh, say defense technology and also it is used in also also it is used in uh, ultrasonic and uh, non destructive te uh, test equipment uh, say uh, flow meters then uh, micro motion uh, micro motion actuators so this is the uh, uh, this is the major application of the piezoelectric transducer also uh, it is used in spark ignition engine uh, and uh, electrostatic uh, say dust filter produces high voltage and low current uh, the e e electric power so this 
this is one of the major application of this piezoelectric transducer so that can be useful for the for the uh, for the power uh, means uh, for the pressure measurement using the piezoelectric transducer so uh, uh, this this uh, application and this uh, advantage is make it versatile and uh, we can use it for the industrial purpose as well as the commercial and the residential purpose for the pressure measurement using piezoelectric transducer so uh, let us discuss the next topic that is uh, topic number seven methods of pressure measurement and the sixth uh, method is the capacitive pressure transducer so let us discuss how capacitive pressure transducer works so uh, how it uh, uh, will work let us discuss uh, so starting with the principle of this uh, capacitive pressure transducer so as we all know that the capacitors capacitance depending upon the uh, the area of the plate then the distance between two plates and uh, the uh, means uh, the dielectric medium which we, we which we use uh, in between two plates so uh, we are going to use the same principle over here for the pressure measurement so in this principle the transducer works on the principle of capacitance between the parallel plates now uh, when the uh, say area of the plate and the dielectric strength of the medium between the plates are say constant the capacitance changes is inversely proportional with the distance so whenever the distance distance changes between uh, two capacitance capaci uh, capacitive plates so uh, the capacitance of the capacitor will change so we all we have uh, or we have the already we have the equation of the capacitor that is c is equal to epsilon 0 epsilon r a by d so from that we can write that c is proportional to 1 over d so d is the uh, nothing but the distance so whenever the distance changes capacitance will change but this distance is inversely proportional to the capacitance if distance between two plates will get decrease then capacitance will get increased and if the distance between two capacitance capacitive plates will uh, decrease then capacitance will get increased so where c is the capacitance and d is the distance between two plates so this is the setup for the capacitive pressure measurement this is the housing which uh, in which we are performing this uh, uh, this process for the pressure measurement and uh, after the housing we have the fixed plate the, of the capacitor and uh, uh, on the back side of the fixed plate we have the cavity so it uh, protects from the uh, means uh, the it's protect it protects from the sudden uh, pressure uh, damage or uh, if the sudden pressure occur uh, pressure applied on the either side of the plate it can damage the inside setup so this cavity will protect the from the unwanted pressures and also uh, the uh, the pro it provides uh, it means after the cavity we have the insulating material so uh, it can be used for the say temperature compensation or any other forces which are acting on the this uh, setup so uh, uh, this is the fixed plate and for the variable plate we use the diaphragm uh, when pressure is applied so uh, as we know that uh, the diaphragm uh, is having a uh, say stretchable material so whenever the pressure applied to uh, from this side so diaphragm will change the shape like this and as the the diaphragm will change the shape the distance between two plates will get changed and the in between two plates we have the dielectric medium or we can say insulating medium and uh, diaphragm uh, say static or rest position this is the point where the uh, where there, there is no pressure is applied then this is the position of the initial position of the diaphragm and whenever the pressure is applied from this side then <clears throat> this diaphragm uh, will take this shape according to the applied pressure and uh, so as the the distance between two plates will get changed and by as as the distance between two plates will get changed so the capacitance of the capacitor will change so this is how we can use this principle for the uh, for the pressure measurement uh, using uh, capacity pressure transducer so let us discuss the uh, through the detailed derivation how this uh, will work so the capacitance is given as c is equal to k into a epsilon 0 by d so where a is the area of each plate so here we are using two plates one is fixed plate and second one is uh, as a diaphragm so this is area of the plate and epsilon 0 is uh, say a uh, permittivity uh, of the medium so 8.85 into 10 to minus 12 uh, farad per meter this is the um, the standard that we use for the uh, for the different type of mediums and um, uh, 
k is equal to dielectric constant of the the material or means the dielectric material we we used in between two plates of the capacitor and where the d is the distance between two plates so from this equation we can uh, write that c is proportional to 1 over d also we can write the c is proportional uh, uh, with the epsilon 0 c is proportional with the a so whenever the area of the plate will increase capacitor will increase whenever that uh, means uh, uh, permittivity will get increased capacitance will increase but only in the thing is that the distance between two plate will get increased capacitance will get decreased so we can write that uh, the significance from this uh, equation and the uh, the charge in the um, the pressure can be uh, detected uh, by the say variation of the capacitance so as the pressure applied according to the applied pressure diaphragm will uh, get stretched and uh, it will uh, set the position and as it will set the position then uh, the dis uh, distance between two plate will get reduced so as the capacitance of the capacitor uh, will change and the capacitance is given as c is equal to 0.8 Eight five uh, into k n minus one a divided by t p f. This is the picofarad. This is the uh, the unit of the uh, ca capacitor. So a is the area of one side of the plate in centimeter square. So um, the, the, this is the area where we applying the pressure. N is the number of plates that we are uh, we used in uh, in the setup. And t is the thickness of the dielectric in centimeter. So uh, as the compression uh, means uh, as the pressure uh, uh, we are uh, as we apply the pressure on the diaphragm plate uh, the the dielectric medium will get also compressed as the pressure applied so the, the thickness of the dielectric uh, will get changed as we apply the pressure on the variable plate of the capacitor and k is the dielectric constant so it is depending upon the dielectric material that we use for the uh, for such type of uh, uh, setup now let us discuss the advantages of uh, such method so the advantages of this method is it has a high input impedance and uh, the loading effect is minimum as we know that capacitor having uh, say uh, say high input impedance and it will uh, doesn't load the source so this is the main advantage of this capacitor uh, transducer then after it requires a small force for the operation because we use good elastic material as a diaphragm so whenever we apply a uh, say normal force on the diaphragm diaphragm will get changed change the shape according to the applied pressure and uh, it, it is uh, hence it is useful for the small displacement so any uh, a small displacement can be measured with the help of such device also pressure measurement and uh, pressure measurement uh, and it requires a small power so um, uh, if you want to uh, measure a pressure so this type of uh, gauges will require the small um, power and this transducer have the good frequency response because um, we use the good stretchable material so whatever the pressure uh, means a strike on the uh, on the so, means uh, surface of the uh, surface of the diaphragm then it will get stretched and it will uh, change the distance between two plate and so as the capacitance will change so this capacitor is very uh, sensitive to the distance between two plates so uh, a negligible change in the distance will uh, change the capacitance of the capacitor so that's why it, this transducer having a good frequency response also they are uh, say less affected by uh, astray magnetic field so this is the also a ma uh, main advantage of this uh, capacitor transducer so these are the advantages let us discuss the disadvantages of uh, such uh, gauge it requires good quality isolation from the uh, the stray capacitance or metal plate so whenever any metal plate surrounded to this uh, uh, such kind of gauges so uh, it can it will uh, the the surrounded uh, plates also will uh, act as a as an cap uh, as a capacitor so we need to protect uh, it from the or we need to provide a good isolation from the stray capacitance also the guard rings are necessary to minimize the stray electric field so guard ring protects the uh, protects from the stray uh, electric field so uh, sometimes frequency response may uh, may be affected by the say loading effect from the connecting links and the cables so this point we need to keep in mind while we we use uh, 
such device for the pressure measurement so we need to protect uh, it from the uh, I means uh, other loading effects like uh, you, uh, from the cables and links also the performance uh, may be affected by the parameters like dust so this is a major uh, point we need to keep in mind while we use such device for the pressure measurement so dust can affect the uh, the the performance of this uh, diaphragm and uh, so we need to protect that this uh, this uh, gauge from the dust and then temperature uh, also moisture can affect the means uh, diaphragm uh, material uh, uh, means if we use a different type of material means uh, having a, a different type of property then it can affect the moisture affected by the moisture also uh, vibrations and uh, uh, so forth so vibrations can also harm this uh, uh, the measurement of uh, say pressure because a nominal vibration can vibrate the diaphragm and uh, due to the vibration the distance between two plates will get changed and so as the capacitance of the gauge this gauge will change so that's why uh, we need to uh, we need to keep in mind this um, above points while we use this device for the pressure measurement also the they require the complex circuit arrangement because whatever the output uh, uh, means generated through this uh, uh, it, it, need, it needs to be processed for the proper uh, output uh, into the display so uh, we, we required uh, a say complex circuit arrangement like bridge and then amplifier etc for the measurement purpose or for an adequate output on the display so these are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, capacitor uh, pressure transducer so after this presentation you have uh, two assignment question the first assignment question is explain piezoelectric pressure transducer in detail and second question is explain capacitive pressure transducer in detail so the question number one is most IMP question from this chapter so uh, also uh, the instructions which are related to this assignment is written below please read it carefully you also you can take the snap of this slide and uh, if you have any query or doubt uh, after this presentation then we can solve your queries and doubt in our doubt solving session also if you uh, if any further uh, doubts arise in your mind then feel free to call me anytime to solve your queries and doubt related to any of the topic related to the electrical engineering so uh, uh, this is what uh, i am done from my side uh, thank you very much student thank you all jai swami narayan